Ivan is here to present the award for Best Digital Destination to the Business of Fashion. Oh dear, okay. Um, it's really a privilege and an honor for me to have grown up and to have grown older in this industry. Um, many of you in this room, I knew when you came here young with a great ambition and I got to see you uh, take and conquer this great business that we're in. Uh, that hipster groovy couple, Inez and Venude, who came in with their effortless style from Holland. I, I'm thrilled at what they've accomplished. Mr. Stephen Gann, who's a great visionary. Um, for Jessica Deal, who did style and pull off that scoop of the year. And I, I remember you when you first started, too. And to Brindus and Nero, thank you for bringing fun into fashion and for giving us this wonderful night where we could uh, celebrate each other and uh, and thank you for everything you do which leads me to um, the person that I am here for and that's Imran Ahmed and um, I met first met Imran uh, in Paris during the collections uh, I was at the Coast Hotel and I was having lunch with Banana from um, uh, uh, Indian Vogue and she uh, told me, you better watch this guy because he's gonna be huge. And what I didn't know was that I was sitting next to MBA, um, um, uh, sorry, Harvard uh, MBA and uh, McKinsey trained executive. And this shy, unassuming man with beautiful uh, wire rim glasses seemed to hang on on every word about the industry, our perceptions, what was going on for the week, the models, the clothes. And then for the rest of the week, I began to see him just about everywhere. He was at every fashion show, he was backstage, he was at every correct cocktail party, and you were at every correct after party. And I knew by the end of that week, this was a person who really loved what we are doing and wanted to communicate it. So from uh, a fashion blogger, he has now created, and I will proudly say I am a subscriber of the Business of Fashion. And isn't that a great name? The Business of Fashion. Because through all the glitz and glamor, uh, this is truly a great business, and it's an important business. And every night I wait at 12.30, almost one, when you send out the email, and I get to read very intelligent articles about what all of you are doing, which sets my day for the next day on what I need to do. It was about two years ago that I was having a meeting with Diane von Fustenberg, and I was talking about a topic that's very uh, dear to me, and that's size diversity in this industry, because at this age, I've embraced my curves. Um, and, um, and I saw her take in what I had to say, and I'm not quite sure she was buying what I was selling. But uh, two days later, she sent me an article from the business of fashion, citing the curve movement, all the statistics, and the potential in growth. And I was very clear that she got my message, and it was clear that uh, the business of fashion was a destination because if the leading American designer who leads other American designers is citing that as a reference, then it's a destination. And by the way, this is the only note that I have because I didn't know if I would flub this. Uh, so I'm here to honor Imran for best fashion digital destination. Ivan, thank you so much. That's, uh, I remember that uh, first coffee or lunch we had at, uh, at the cost uh, with Bandana, and it's a, it's a really sweet memory, and thank you for reminding me of it. Um, 
From the very beginning, back in the days when I wrote BOF from my sofa, my motivation to continue writing came from the feedback that I received from our community. But this kind of recognition from the industry that we are a part of is a really huge honor. And I want to thank Brandusa and The Daily for conferring this award on the business of fashion. But if I'm 100% honest with you, it feels a bit uh, premature for me to be standing here in front of you today. I always thought that this was the kind of honor that you received towards the end of your career. And I'm not done yet. There's definitely still a lot more for us to learn and a lot more for us to accomplish. Uh, today, BOF is not only about me on my sofa. As I traveled around the world in the early days of BOF, I also met like-minded people who shared the same interests as me, and I slowly built a global team of writers who were just as passionate about the business of fashion as I was. We are now a team of 30 people spread across London, New York, and Shanghai with writers all over the world, many of whom have come from our community. And I've never really worked ever before with a, a more committed and passionate group of people. We don't pay the highest salaries, we don't have the most glamorous offices, but we are doing really meaningful, exciting, impactful work. And that's what brings us all together. Everyone on my team, they care so much about the work that we do, and each of them makes contributions that makes BOF possible. And I accept this award on their behalf. <clears throat> and finally, I have some very special guests here with me today from Vancouver, Canada, my parents. Uh, I don't think they had an easy job with me, as from the start, I was a hyperactive, curious, bossy kid, but they helped me channel the creative and analytical skills that form the foundation of BOF today. So mom and dad, thank you for making me who I am. Thanks. 